We are pushing what is possible with Lovable. Before building a WhatsApp AI assistant took a lot of time, but today I am making a complete WhatsApp AI agent with one prompt. And within this one prompt, we also create a front end for it so that this is something you can directly sell. Let me show you how. Okay, so let's make a connection between WhatsApp and a Lovable AI agent. And we're going to do this only with prompting. So let me very shortly explain to you what the game plan is. We are going to use Twilio for our WhatsApp connection. And then in Lovable, we'll only use one prompt to create our AI agent, get our URL, put that into Twilio, and we already got it working by then. So to get the prompt that we need, we can go to the build loop prompt library. What we have here is this prompt. And you can just go here, copy paste it, and put it into Lovable. You can obviously rewrite this prompt for your use case. But what we'll now just do is we'll just copy this, we'll go to Lovable, we'll paste it. And before running this, let me very shortly go back to build loop. Let me show you what the prompt actually looks like. So we are going to create WhatsApp integration dental clinic booking system with an AI receptionist that handles appointments autonomously. So create three tables with our last policies. So we have our WhatsApp messages table, we have our appointments table, and we have our clinic settings. What we also provided with is our edge function because we are using an external integration like Twilio to make the connection. And this has specific input and output formats. So we need to make sure to instruct Lovable so it really understands what to expect. We then have a front end and a dashboard page. So it will be a dashboard with three tabs. So a messages tab, an appointment tab, and a settings tab. When you build something like this and you want to actually sell it, you can make it as crazy as you want. So you can obviously connect it to their existing calendar, but you also deliver a back office immediately. This is something very useful. A system where all their customer care messages come in, we can analyze them further with AI features. So we already have this copied. We go back to Lovable and we actually run it. In the meantime, we'll go to Twilio. If you don't have an account, you can very simply make it. It is free, so I'm already in my account. And what you need to do is you need to go to messaging, try it out and send a WhatsApp message. The setup is super simple. You just need to send a WhatsApp message to a number with a code and then you are connected. So I am already connected. We can now go to my WhatsApp and I can start typing in here. But when I type in here, nothing is happening. Let me show it to you. Nothing is happening. And that is because we don't have our URL yet. Currently, Lovable is building the app, but right now we have no connection with our actual AI agent. So what we now need to do is we need to go back to our Lovable app. It is currently still working on it, but as you can see, it has enabled cloud it has enabled AI, it is now creating the databases, and within a few seconds, we can actually grab our URL, put that into our Twilio, and then we have our actual connection already. And this is really blowing my mind. You can create a real product that you can actually sell. Hey guys, very quickly, if you're enjoying this video, if you think my tips and tricks are useful for you, please like and subscribe, because a lot of more content like this will be coming out soon. Perfect, so it's now creating the WhatsApp webhook. This is looking cool. Sounds good. So we can now go to cloud, we can go to edge functions and we have our WhatsApp webhook. We can now copy this URL, we can go to our Twilio, we can go to sandbox settings and we have this URL as default. But we can now paste our URL in here. We can save this. Now we can actually start using it. So I will say hi just again. Hello, welcome to our dental clinic. How may I assist you today? We had one prompt. We didn't put any effort in this. It is already working. And let me now show you the logs. We have our edge function. We can say a few logs. And as you can see, everything worked. We have our message. We have our AI response. We can now go to our dashboard so we can click on get started. We have our recent messages here. As you can see, this is already looking pretty good. We have our appointments tab, but there are no appointments yet. We have our settings. What we can now do is we can now go back to our chat and we can say, I need a checkup and do you a time Friday, 17th of October. That time is available. Would you like me to book it for you? Yes, please. So I'll be happy to book that checkup for you on Friday, October 17th. Could you please tell me your full name and phone number? I will need those to finalize the appointment. So Luc Alleman. Great, your checkup appointment is confirmed for the wrong year and it didn't ask the time. So this is the part where you actually need to fine tune 
your agent to provide better answers. Let me very quickly show you what it looks like in our appointments tab. We have here our appointment, which is already looking pretty cool. We have a calendar as well. The next thing that we can do is actually fine tune it. I will just use the voice transcription function here and I will just say the following. Hey, so when someone is asking for an appointment, we are currently not asking for the time they want and we are booking it for 2024 and it is currently 2025. So I think we need to add functionality where we know the current date and can also very intelligently understand what dates people are suggesting because when they say something like, can I have an appointment on Friday? We need to understand that this is for coming Friday. So can you please implement this? It updated the webhook to include the correct date context. Perfect. So. We can now test this out again. We can say, I just want a new appointment for coming Friday. I want to make changes from our current appointment to next Friday. Um, I think 10 is fine. Perfect, so now it has the correct year and the correct time. So this is already a very large improvement. And how you should see this is we can so simply fine tune our functions, our AI agents to be better, to fit our use case, get the prompt from the prompt library and just try things like this out maybe for other local businesses or some other big businesses it is really cool it is really simple and it is also a lot of fun to create apps doing it like this thanks for watching my complete video if you've learned anything from it if it opens up possibilities for you please like and subscribe a lot of more content like this will be coming out soon so i will see you in the next one